Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Gas the Gengar. And last time we left off, we had a really disappointing encounter with Lugia, quote unquote, Nuzleaf. Um, so, you know, I was feeling pretty, pretty bad about that. And then I went to our box to organize stuff because, you know, we have a couple Pokemon that were unnamed and I kind of wanted to sort them out from the others. So, what I did was I did that. Um, so. So as you see here, we have two, three Pokemon that went out unnamed, four actually, um, if I switch these two. Um, I kept these three here because we actually used them and you know, I want to keep them separate from everybody else. They really, quote unquote, helped throughout our journey. But yeah, we didn't name Badoo, we didn't name Mamoswine, or actually yeah, we did name you. Why are you here? Get out. Oh, yeah. So we didn't name Badoo, Horsey, and Giraffe Rig, which I mean... Three out of twenty. Three out of like, let's go with like 31, 36, 37, I don't know. Three out of 37, not bad. Usually it'd be a way worse than a uh, ratio. And you know what? Like you saw in box two, we got plenty of legendary Pokemon. We got Reggie Ice, Reggie Gigas, we got Jirachi, and of course we got our boy following us right now. Or not following us right now, but we got our boy Jet, you know. It could be way worse, so uh, you know I'm not I'm not gonna be upset about it. But the reason I came here because I want to try to get the Route 45 encounter. I also want to see if we need Flash. Yeah, we do. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut back down to I want to say Violet City, but whatever. Let's go and get our encounter here, and it is a. It's a Totodile! Can I just throw a Great Ball at you? It's not gonna be that easy. But... Come on. One. Yeah, of course it's not gonna be that easy. Um, I... Don't really have any other ideas on what to do because, honestly, this dude is, uh... Well, he's, he's very weak, alright, so trying to catch him is not going to be fun. Two, three. <sighs> I like how we struggle with Totodile, but not with Regigigas, Reggie Ice. I think we struggled with Jirachi, I'm not sure. One, two... Mm. And he knows Ice Fang. Oh my! Oh no, actually, uh, I'm not sure if I should be surprised by that because I'm. I honestly can't remember if he learns it naturally or if that's an egg move. One, two, three. All right, and we caught him. We caught little boy Chomper, or little girl Chomper, I should say. It's small enough and tough, but won't hesitate to take a bite out of anything that moves. And that's why we named it Chomper. Because, boy, he do got a mouth. And that's really all we came here for. Um, I'm going to keep my eye out for any items, and then we will start our adventure. And we got a battle. Cool. Um, be prepared for anything. Uh, let me see if your Pokemon have been race prepped. Uh, I'm listening back to these voices. I'm probably gonna hate my life. Poet Marilyn. Wait, why am I going down the route? I could just go. Like, I could just go fly to New Bark Town and just leave it at that. You know what I mean? What? I don't... Was that Luster Purge? Can't remember. Um, alright. Grovile, so let's go with Cleopatra. Man, are you even a Sceptile? That's weird. Actually, no, it's not, because you're only level 27. Holy shit. 
Why are the trainers and Pokemon here so weak when we just did the fucking eighth gym of the region? Like, I know this route connects to what are like the route and we're immediately after New Bark Town. Yeah, New Bark Town, but like. Did they really need to be this weak? There's no way for you to get from there to here. Even then, they're still way too high leveled. Uh, let's keep Cleopatra in because she's next in the line to, you know, be trained. And now, of course, Thunder Wave. Come on, Cleo. Come on! Can you stop that? There you go. We're going. I'm, I didn't want to run, but whatever. Let's go to Sire. I'm. I actually know Sire's next line to be trained. Yeah, whatever, Cleo. Or not Cleo, Flaffy, whatever. Let's mud bomb him. Flaffy was so fucking annoying. Oh, I lost that. So let's just fly to New Bark Town because I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the rest of this route. Um, switch him to first. I think you have a odd instance for raising your yeah. And then you have luck, and then you have an amulet coin. Um, you know, let's let's keep going down, and if we see another trainer, we'll just fly away. Oh man, Togepi. Alright, so, so, so recently I just really wanted to train a Togepi, and I don't know why. Um, I was really disappointed when in Pokemon Colosseum, um, we kept seeing all these Togepis and Togetics everywhere, but I didn't get to raise any. And I don't know why, because honestly, why? But like, I was really hoping I'd get a Togepi, because I have a weird obsession with Togetic. That I don't mention often. But, like, I just like it as a Pokemon. What do you mean, can't I escape? What do you mean? I'm freaking, like, nine levels above you. How could I not escape? I also hate how to get to run, you can't just click down. You have to go to bag or Pokemon first, and then press up or down. So it's really freaking annoying half the time. What do you mean? So we spent eight minutes of this episode, and... I don't give a crap, alright? You fucking sent me there last time, and it wasn't fun. Alright, yeah, we're not going through here. We're, let's just go to the Elite Four. You know, I fought basically every trainer up to this point. Um, I'm not going to be upset if I skip a few level 20 trainers, to be honest. Like, honestly, come on. Let's be honest with ourselves. Are, is fighting level 20 trainers on, like, three level 20 trainers on one route really going to make that much of a difference? Two episodes later, it made a huge difference. Um, I'm also pretty sure. Oh yeah, no, I just want to rest. Other Pokemon moms. Oh, come home and rest. This Pokemon mom. Give me your money. God mom. The reason I don't give her any money, Mooney. I don't give her any money is basically because uh she just buys random shit without like without even like asking and I really hate that it's like come on mom I think I can just talk to the computer basically it's like she just goes out and she just buys random like stuffed animals and shit for you and it's like why 
How, what do you, how do you know I wasn't saving that money for something very specific, mother? And that's why I should get a bank instead of letting your mom deal with it. Alright, round 27. Let's go. What is this encounter? Oh, it's a baby Alakid! Oh, I need it. I need it in my party right now. I don't, but I do. Oh, Alakid's definitely my favorite electric type. Like, honestly. Oh, no! Get in the ball! Yes, I am wasting Ultra Balls on this fucking Alekid. This level 20 Alekid. Come on. I wonder if we can get some uh, timer balls. Come home, Shocker, please. One, two, three. Come on! I don't have anything to attack you with. One, two, three. Hey, we got it. Um, if you're wondering why I love Alekid so much, well, I've always loved Alekid. But mainly I have recently, uh, not recently, it's been a couple years now. Um, recent, well, I keep saying recently. A while back I did a Pokemon... Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link and I got an Electabuzz and I named him the Shocker because you know I was I, I couldn't think of anything else honestly um, now I usually call him Loxus but hey do you know what you just did you just take your first steps in the Kanto check your Pokemon gear map and see now as a kid I remember this being like what what do you mean and then it's like, oh, this is actually Kanto. <gasps> oh, look, and then now we can see Entei and Raikou on our map. Oh. Uh, now the thing is, though, when it comes to Entei and Raikou, you can't just fly to the city nearest to them because they'll run away to like a different route, and you need to walk there. So, eh. so this. is Toho Falls. Toho? Tojo? Not sure. Basically, this is where you would come to fight Giovanni if you had Celebi to do the Celebi event. Which, did we ever get Celebi? Also, we need to teach someone Waterfall and take up another spot in our team with a Water-type move. Um, I don't think we have anyone to use as an HM slave. Um, I have to teach someone it, but who? I don't want to teach Sire anymore water type moves. Um, how about Jet? You know, what's... Um... Let's get rid of Nightshade. Um... I don't care for a move that's only gonna inflict 35 damage. Now, if, like, if we were, like, level 100 or, like, at least 90 or something, maybe. Maybe. But, come on. 35 damage. That's not worth it. Also, first encounter of Toho Falls. And it's a repeat. This is a repeat of Zinogre, which we just saw not too long ago in the PC. And, of course, he's too fast because he's an electric type. Um, I feel like I was saying something. And eh, whatever. We might only find Manatrix in here, which means we might finally have use for our... Ow! For our... Our good rod. Wow! You really gonna say that to me? In the middle of an episode? Manatrix, that's rude and saucy. Is that talking about Togepi? No. See, I lose my train of thought way too easily. And... Yeah, this is only going to be Zinogre. Or... Manetrix. Now I'm sitting here calling Manetrix Zinogre. What the hell? 
I can barely remember the names of my own Pokemon, but when it comes to this fucking Manetric, it's like, yo, that's a Zinogre. Oh! I think I was talking about an Electabuzz. Uh, but... Yeah, basically, got an Electabuzz in, uh, Pokemon... Uh, let's use a Rod here. I got an Electabuzz through Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link, and it took us all the way to Elite Four, basically. Like, that boy just carried the whole team base. Oh! Oh, wait! Oh, wait, yeah! I was like, oh, wait, no, we got an encounter here. It's a no! Our first Pokemon here is Torterra! Shit. Um, I think Dusk Ball? We're in a cave. I think it's nighttime. Come on! I would use Whirlpool. Oh, honey, please. Eh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, keep yourself alive. Um, uh, let's try. I'm not gonna look. He lived. Wow, he does hurt. Now, hopefully, Whirlpool doesn't do too much damage. Um, let's switch out to Edgebird, because you know. What? I don't think he's going to be doing much damage with Grass type moves on a Flying type. Let's try a Dusk Ball one more time. One, two, three. Hey! Torterra's date was added to the Pokedex. Uh, ancient people imagined that beneath the ground the giant Torterra dwelled. Is that a flat earth theory? Yes. We're going to name you... Uh, we can't name you Franklin, because that's Blastoise. Uh, trying to think. Do I... I don't... Let's call you... Hmm, I'm going to be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I came to the realization, not realization, alright, I googled it. I fucking googled the name of the fucking turtle that carries the world on its back, and it's a 2 win I think. So now that makes our Pokemon count two. And of course, there's gonna be a trainer. Uh, it's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Sure. Oh, wait, are we paralyzed? I don't remember. No, but we are severely hurt. I forgot. Now uh, let's throw our boy a super potion. Or hyper potion. Oh shit! It's it's time to stream. No, oh, well, you know, honestly, no one's gonna show up. Why? That's why. 
Well, you know, I can withdraw Pokemon too, poopy head. Yeah, nailed it. Got him. Let's go, Cleo. You got it. You got this. Man, I really hope we get a new evolution in Pokemon Gen 8. Gen 8. It's so weird saying Gen 8. I don't know why I even said Pokemon Gen 8 when I usually been calling it Pokemon 2019. Which, at this rate, because they didn't announce it in the Nintendo Direct, I feel like we're not going to get it in 2019, sadly. It just feels so weird that they said we were going to get news on Pokemon in 2019. Well, they, they said we were going to get Pokemon in 2019, and we hear about it later. And it's later, there is a perfect chance for a Nintendo Direct. And they just kind of left it at that. Probably because they don't want anyone, like... The less people know about it, like, I feel like the less people who know about Pokemon 2019, oof, the better, because that means they know who, they, right, I'm trying to explain this really weird. If they don't announce the game publicly, that means that they can keep tabs on the small circle of po people who do know it, so when anything leaks, Oh, no. oh god, I sneezed. That was like really bad. But yeah, they can give a sm uh, they can keep tabs on the small like circle of people who do know about Pokemon 2019, and if any news gets out, they can take care of the situation very quickly instead of having to search on the internet and like worry about these random strangers who somehow like hacked their fucking like thing or data mined a demo or some shit, you know. If anything, we're going to get an announcement. It's like, Pokemon 2019, out next month. And it's going to be like, what? We have no news. We know nothing about this region. Who is she? Why should I care? Snorlax. Ah, uh, Cleopatra would have been great. Actually, Edgebird! <gasps> Yay! I forgot he knew close combat. I want to at least make it to Victory Road in this episode. Damn. I don't know what what decides if a po if like a health bar is gonna move that slow. Cause like that was a super effective move, and that thing chugged on its way down. Like it went, it took a long time. Good job, Edgebird. And we still haven't seen Metagross. I was honestly expecting to have him by this point. Um, you let me heal here, right? I'm gonna trust you very much, and I see a good trainer. Here's a gift for you. TM37? Sandstorm. Pass! What is it really, though? 37. 37. Gillot! Oh! <laughs> Uh, old lady, I'm scared. I'm leaving. Uh, but yeah, I'm always careful near this house because I have a really bad habit of just running off that cliff and having to redo everything again. Everything that wasn't going up a waterfall and shit. But, you, know, you get it. You get it. Um, let's go behind this trainer and I want to heal up before we go into a battle. Oh, Yanma. Oh, I would love to, but we already got the encounter for this route. I'm sorry. And you forgot, you're really fast. And you have speed boost. Isn't that like your fucking like secret ability? our team uh, we, and we definitely have the medicine to do so so let's throw a revive onto Cleo and use a hyper potion on everyone else we actually now have two sacred ashes which like honestly it was oh I just like weird to even get one 
But now, if we ever get like really bad at the Elite Four, boom, we're good. Like, we have a full team revive slash heal right there. I don't remember if it also gives you back PP. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You look pretty strong, let me battle you. Blah, 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 blah. Magneton! Oh, cool, man! It's gonna be so hard! Wow, Magneton's over here getting ready to take the shot. <laughs> licky Licky, yeah, let's go with Edgebird again. And go with Cleo, but close combat is more reliable than Rock Smash. Plus, I want. I don't know. I, d I think the highest level they're gonna get at the Elite Four at this point in the game is level 49? I think? 49 or 50, and I think that's at Lance. And I don't remember if... I think you fight Dan before you... Or Silver, Dan, whatever. Before the Elite Four. So Lance is the actual champion. And Red you can only beat after you get all the Kanto badges. Which, that's my plan to end the series on. We're probably going to beat Red. I don't know what he's going to have. I don't know, like anything about like our journey to that point because for all we know these this game the people could be like at the, at the elite four episode be like yo i don't care about this move on and I'll, you know what i'll be like all right cool um give me like a couple of weeks to just throw a series together i don't fucking know uh, i just not realized yeah like when it comes to my next series I'm going to do, it's probably going to take some time in between episodes since I make all my assets. Like, I make my layouts. I don't make the Pokemon icons, of course. Oh, that would suck if I did, though. Can you imagine? Every time I caught a new Pokemon, I would have to draw it and its whole evolution line. I struggle with drawing it as it is, but then, like, I mean, that would make good practice, to be fair, but... It would look hella ugly. And this is the Bridge of Crushed Dreams. And if you're wondering why is that, basically... Um, in my off time, I do... Uh, me and my friends will do, like, soulings here and there, just for fun. And... Me and my friend Charles decided that, hey, let's do, uh, like, I think it was just normal silver. It was silver and gold, I think. I was playing gold and he was playing silver. And, uh, we got up to this point and his team was extremely unbalanced. And this, like, per this trainer right here sent out a haunter and he had nothing to do with, like, how to hurt it. And because of that, he wiped out not only mine... But his own whole team. And it sucked too, because I think at that point I had a Celebi called Doctor Who. And it was like really working hard, and it just fucking. It was gone. It was. Ugh, it was a really sad day. Um, let's use a Hyper Potion. And then when we get to the Elite Four, we'll get some full restores. You know, one thing I know, never understood in Pokemon, what they didn't sell, was elixirs. Because, like, elixirs slash ethers. They're, like, probably some of the most useful items in Pokemon for when you just want to go without taking breaks. But you can only get them found around the world, I think, so far. I don't think I've ever seen a Pokemon game where you can buy them in a store. Either, and, and if I have, I'm probably just really fucking blind, which that could be it too. Um, let's check my Pokegear. Um, yeah, this is all one route, right? 
Yeah, this is all Route 27, so we're not getting a new encounter until... Hmm. Oh, wow, I completely forgot that was a thing. I mean, that's really cool. So let's keep... Ooh. Another luck incense, really? I mean, I guess we'll give it to Quagsire. No, not Power Herb. God damn it. And we don't have to worry about Kingler because we already got our encounter for this route. I just hope we can run. God, why do you know much? That's weird. I guess that gives him a counter for electric type Pokemon, but I don't remember ever having that. And thank you, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't want to avoid trainers because, like, obviously we don't have a good team for the Elite Four quite yet. Like, Metalhead could probably carry us carry us a good chunk of the way through, but uh, I don't want to put all my like chickens in one basket, you know. I put all, is it, it's all your, no, it's all your eggs in one basket. Don't say a thing, let me just think, you got it, you're a Pokemon League challenge. Yep. There's like only one reason a Johto trainer would be on this route. Other than maybe living here. Oh, Vespa Queen, that's cool. You know, I don't really get to see them that often. Um, let's go for Edgebird again. Can we at least make it to Route 28? And the next episode go through whatever. I think my niece just came and knocked on my door and just ran. Good job, Edge Bird and Croconaw. Oh fuck, we still don't have anything for water types, so let's go with Mind Freak. Uh, maybe a nice psycho cut can help take this thing down. Let's try Psybeam. I, I think it has a lower special defense. Yeah. That ain't good. A Gibble? That's easy. Let's use Dragon Breath. Let's let's fix this. Be right back. And we're back and let's keep going. Um Whatever. I'm just gonna run past her and she sees me, she sees me. I think we're gonna end on Route 28 because uh this This episode's going on pretty long and going through all of the uh, Victory Road, that's really gonna be pushing it. I'm already like almost 20 minutes late for my uh, stream. I think there's a house you can rest at up here. <sighs> of course, now that I'm trying to end up, everyone's gonna say. I wish I had a way to soundproof my room. Of course, Kyogre, come in, join us. Oh, welcome to the family, son. Why does everyone have Kyogres? Come on. First Pokemon Coliseum, now this. Oof! 
Ooh, we might actually wipe here. Yeah. I'm sorry, Metalhead. You know, one feature I do like in the newer Pokemon games that they added was, uh, if you use and train and, I guess, play with a certain Pokemon long enough, it gets the ability to, like, do stuff because it likes you enough. Like, um, Pokemon will fight through poison, they'll do critical hits to impress you, they'll also, like, cling on to health just so, you know, that, like, you know, they're there. Oh, if we can end on... Quagsire. He could get enough experience so we could focus on Cleo. Um, let's try Extra Sensory. It's health is low enough that this should do enough. It has, it has 80 damage. Oof. Alright, so that... Uh, let's try Mud Ball. Of course. Of course you're gonna use Aqua Ring. But luckily you're dead, so it doesn't freaking matter. Cool. And... Yes! Alright, Sire's level 35 now. Think that was your last Pokemon? Salamence. Oh, well, luckily we have Jet. And then use Dragon Breath because it's super fast. Why? <sighs> and if Jet doesn't work out, then of course we have Cleo, which will have Icy Wind, which will be four times effective since it's flying and dragon. The Battle of Dragon's Breath. Coming soon to a theater near you. Yo, that reminds me. So... Anthem's coming out soon, like, literally in a couple of days. Dating this video, I know, but listen. They released a trailer for the game, and holy shit, it looked like an actual movie. And I was so mad when I sat and watched that whole thing, and it was, like, not coming, it was, like, not saying, like, coming soon to a theater near you. Like, holy shit, that game, that, that trailer looks so good. I would actually sit and watch that movie. Like... Like I said previously, I usually don't get hyped for games, right? Pokemon may- it's like, Pokemon is like the closest I'll get because like that's such- Ow, fuck, I just hit my headset. Ah. That really like, hit- that really just kind of like ranked in my ears. I'm like, you give your number? Sure. But like that, the trailer was so freaking good and like, Game trailers these days aren't usually that good. Route 26. Alright, yeah, we're gonna end our episode here. I, I, I don't want to, but like... I know there's a house we can rest at, but at the same time, it's like... Are we even gonna make it there? At this rate, though, we could get Metalhead to evolve at this area, at least. I mean... Let's fight this trainer, see what he has. Hopefully, if he doesn't have, like, six Pokemon, we should be good. Alright. So, hit this dude with a... I was gonna say Waterfall, but no, Surf. We should be good. Sire's actually set up pretty well to take on this Nido King. You know, even if you like for some reason can't use Surf, we still have Psychic or Extra Sensory. Um, Firo Switch. Let's go into um. Cleopatra, you know, I keep forgetting that we have ice type moves.
And you know, yeah, let's keep let's keep Cleo out for Hapini. That should get enough to get the 35. No, if only we could refight this trainer over and over again. Uh, what's Light Slash? Ooh. 70, 100, what's this? 60? Yeah, let's get this! Alright, come on, let's... Oh, that's the commemorative dude. Let's, uh, let's end it with a photo, you know? Let's do that. Um, first off, though, we need to make our team pretty healthy. Alright, so then we heal everyone else up with a Hyper Potion. I honestly wasn't expecting to use this many potions, but you know what, whatever. We're making it through the game. I kind of neglected other people, so it's only fair. I'm trying not to use Metalhead as much because, you know, he's a powerhouse. He's like a pseudo-legendary. And then we have an actual legendary on our team, so... We have a pseudo-legendary -leg and a legendary. I mean, come on. Usually I don't even use legendaries on my team. Since you're up front, you can go first for the photo. Hello, just from you like expected, I'm Cameron, the photographer. You look photogenic. Why don't you have a picture taken? Sure. All right, then get yourselves ready. Yo, good stuff. It looks like Star after sitting on my head. Right. So, this is a new route, so new encounter as well. Um, it's a repeat. We already had Veneery. Come on, really? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to record next episode tomorrow and use this route to grind up everyone else. So far it's Benetric and Boonieri, so... We'll start off with a new encounter, then we'll do some grinding to get everyone up to like 40 or so. Um, maybe we can get... Metal had to evolve. Come on, just let me leave. I got shit to do, bro. Fine, I'll fucking fight shit. Fuck! I forgot you don't. This is why I wanted the rest house because he's out of mud ball and we kind of need that. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Definitely in Kanto. I want to fix a few things though. I, for a lot of the series, I drag the episodes on way longer than they need to be, right? Um, and then like I get really impatient when it hits the forty minute. I don't want an hour long episode. I just don't. So I try rushing shit, but it just makes stuff worse. So let's just end it here. All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know we didn't get the victory road, and I'm sorry. Since it's Victory Road and then the Elite Four, what I'm thinking is maybe just compressing that all into one big, maybe like hour long episode, even though I just said I don't want to do one. But, you know, honestly, there's not going to be enough time. There's not going to be enough time between here and then to make a whole new set of three episodes for the next week just after beating Elite Four. You know, there's just. It just makes no sense, you know? If I'm going to make three episodes a week, might as well just make it the third episode of this week instead of the only episode of next week. So, I hope you all had a great time. I know I did. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Twitch if you want to catch me. I'm usually on Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Weird times, I know. I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, I think that's it. Follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up with me. I don't really post there a lot. I'm trying to fix that. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye bye